A Hellboy Weber Weird is a roguelite brawler. It's a monstrous toe-to-toe -to -toe brawler where you play the eponymous Hellboy, getting into trouble and punching his way out of it. The comics have heavily inspired the game we absolutely love, might be known as work. That's something that's never been seen before in video games. And we love the challenge of bringing his, his comic work to life. Mick Minola does an amazing job of taking a still image and showing you so much movement in that one image. A lot of it is taking those images and adding the in-betweens that you don't really see. It's not always smooth, the animation, so it's very, like, crunchy. <laughs> so it's not, like, your typical, like, nice, smooth animation all the time. There's a page in one of our books which has been very, very well thumbed through where I'm like, this, this is the feeling we want to have. And it's that feeling of Hellboy looking up at this great big werewolf who's appeared from inside a human in a really scary, horrible way. We want to get the player to have that, that, have that moment and make that the, the focus of a lot of the action. The unique thing about this character, he's got this big right fist. You know, we give you that chance to, to, to wallop Absolutely, some stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, it's all, and it's all built with those big guys in mind. He's a brawler, you know, he can take a hit. He's one of these people that will take a hit, get up and throw a bigger one. <laughs> so trying to get in, in that mindset of just being like, not really thinking about his punches. He's just going at it. Tavern baller kind of thing. <laughs> and not really thinking about what, what his moves are. He's not precise in what he does. He's just throwing punches left and right. Just stayed out of my way. He's, he's quite a great tank, to be honest. And there aren't an awful lot of like very tanky kind of characters that you get to play. So we're really trying to lean into that aspect of the gameplay and this, this feeling of big versus bigger. Like Hellboy's seven foot tall, but when he's up against a, an eleven foot werewolf or whatever, he's, he's still the little guy. So we wanted to try and capture that feeling of a monstrous fight, essentially. Yeah. It's Goliath versus Gil Goliath? <laughs> Times two. Goliath squared. Yeah. yeah. What's more interesting perhaps is in the in the roguelite aspect. We have taken inspiration from a guy called Joris Dormans, who does this thing called cyclic dungeon generation, which I don't know if too many people have used before for the procedural generation, but it makes some really interesting systems where instead of just starting at the beginning of a level and then just running outwards, you can tend to have to double back on yourself to find items, then progress forward and lock doors and, and carry on. I think the inspiration for that really is almost a Zelda-like system. You engage with the world and you have to find things and then that leads more into feeling like a detective, if you can, as Hellboy. So that helps to balance the two of it's a brawler but then there's also these sort of investigative elements. I want to make sure that it's a very welcoming roguelike. You don't have to just get as far as you can every single time. We structured it in a way where you can feel like you're getting a good sense of progression, you're seeing lots of the game and then later on we really start saying well now you know the ropes, can you do this? So without spoiling too much, we've got some of our friends at the BPRD who are calling Hellboy in to help out with a, you know, a concerning supernatural situation that is going to take a little bit more than a couple of humans to figure out. They need like his specific set of skills. So you as Hellboy are coming along to help rescue a lost agent in the field and then figure out what is going on with this strange other space that he's found himself stuck in. Every time we approached a bit of design, it was always in the back of our minds, what, what would Hellboy do? Or what makes this Hellboy? That's honestly been like my favorite bit is getting to expand on like all of the cool world that already exists. We've got a couple of new BPRD members who kind of like help you out along the way and are your voice in your ear from time to time to, you know, make sure you're still on track and give you your little bits of, of lore. That's kind of where you can learn more about the history and the kind of expanded lore. And then we've got a couple of more supernatural new friends who you'll meet as you're going out and adventuring and going on runs and stuff. There's a lot sort of to unravel and to learn about the, the characters and the, it unfolds throughout playing the game o over time. We have cinematic moments, but to, to reference a, another game like si similar to Hades, where there's just so much dialogue in the game, there's so much to learn, so much to hear about from the characters. It doesn't just unfold in the in the sort of classic cinematic way as you progress through the game. You've also got to do many things within the world and a lot of different bits of dialogue. What we're really trying to do is make the most the most Hellboy game you could possibly make. All the hits, it's got like falling through floors and uh, landing on his head. And the right hand of doom and lots of punching. Uh, 
If you want more from Hellboy Web of Word, make sure to check out our exclusive video preview.